What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here. Back at it again, like you can always expect. You know what I mean? And today, an unboxing of a Lynch product. All right, that's the name. Oh, let's get this other Lynch stuff out of the way. Yeah. All right. The cool box, different sleeve than last time. Let's get right into it. We're gonna cut the tape on the side with the Sabenza. Honestly, knives been pretty boring lately. I've been just carrying this Abenza all the time. It's been kind of a boring journey. It's just kind of stabilized and uh, I'm okay with that. You know, I feel like too many times we are caught in the trap of being obedient consumers. We just keep buying, 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 buying things we don't need, right? And it's a really hard cycle to break out of because we are taught to be consumers since we were children, right? And, you know, anywhere you go, all you see is marketing, sales and marketing, and, you know, you're bombarded with the brand name, you know, a lot of people fall into the trap of trying to keep up with each other. And yeah, that's really an issue that we deal with in this community. All right. I mean, I, I guess you can say it's about every community, but they give me a little lanyard for um, the pry. This is a pretty cool lanyard. I mean, it's thin. This one would be um, easier to fit into the smaller holes. I mean, anyways. There's a sticker, yeah, different than the yellow sticker over here, the gold marigold color sticker. All right, anodized titanium, you know, can uh, fingerprint and oxidize from the oil, you know, use Windex to clean it up. All right, and here it is, July 2023 V1.7 All Access Pass 6AL4V Titanium. Double wing stone logo fade anodized. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Now let's get right into this. Put the box aside. I feel like I got too many boxes and packages around. You know, and that's why I'm glad that I slowed the roll on EDC stuff. There's no reason to keep buying the new thing that's out because you know what? The new thing is not even better than the old thing. And when you got so many knives, you don't end up using any of them fully, you know? All right, let's take a look at this pry. We got the sticker underneath, a uh, piece of paper actually feels like underneath the clip so it doesn't scratch it. Made in the USA. That's cool. And, you know, they got their lifetime guarantee on the pry. And that makes me eager to use it and pry with it, open bottles with it, carry it, you know. But this feels solid. I mean, if you snap this, you probably broke your hand too, you know. <laughs> so let's take a look at the clip. I mean, the whole thing overall. Here's the clip, deep carry. It's not going to be showing out of your pocket besides the clip. We got anodization, it's faded. You know, we got we go from like a orange goldish color down to a violet, you know, pinkish, purplish violet, deeper blue and lighter blue, right? And on both sides the same way. Here's the wing. It says Lynch Northwest up there. We got the um, American flag shape on it. You know, it looks. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a good pry, it fits in the hand very well. I would say it's about the same size as a Benchmade mini bug out. Actually, this is probably bigger than a mini bug out, yes. Here, I got a mini bug out right here. It is indeed bigger than a mini bug out. All right, this gives you good leverage for opening bottles. I think that's one cool thing to use it for, you know, prying, scraping things off, you know, yeah. Anyways, I don't really have a lot of pry bars, you know, 
like I, I don't really use them and most of them don't got lifetime warranties so I'm kind of hesitant to use them or break them or whatever but this one this is made to be used and it's in a good finish where I'm not afraid of scratching it, right? If you get the whole thing anodized or coated, you're going to worry about the, the um, coating, scraping off, or whatever. This, on the other hand, is all titanium, raw-looking, stonewashed. Um, the anodization is going to probably be fine because it's recessed. It's, you know... It's not on the same plane, it's indented a little bit, which is good. And this is gonna be a user, right? Next to the Sabenza is gonna be a user, which this Magna Cut Sabenza is. They are roughly the same size, almost. And yeah, I feel like in EDC, the truth is you really only need one of each thing, maybe. You don't need so many things. I feel like so many people you know, they use their credit cards, they max that thing out, they max multiple cards out, they're buying things they don't need, they don't pay their um, balances in full every month because they buy too many knives. And to me, it ain't worth it, right? I'd rather sell my whole collection than do that. I mean, why do I wanna work harder to buy more knives, right? No. I don't want to. And right now, I feel like the EDC community, uh, not the community, but the prices and the value on stuff is going down. If once you buy it, it's just like a car nowadays, especially now. It's like, a, you know, once you take the car off the lot, it loses like 20% of the value right away. Right. And that's what's happening here with knives and stuff, except for like the really hard to get stuff like Roosevelt right Oz um what else Koenig Arius is kind of dying down to be honest except for the mini Arius the regular Arius is dying down you know what I think it's because a lot of the people who wanted an Arius already have one and there's really no reason to stack them right we don't have to collect 20 of them right once you have one you have one and you really don't need more, right? Or maybe I'm just being too sensible. But the Mini Arius is selling for over a retail, you know? Yeah. But other than that, all the knives are losing value like crazy. Look at the secondary. Every knife is worth like nothing. <laughs> you're seeing knives that used to sell for 300 going for like 200 now you know and th th that's good as a buyer but as a seller when you want to get rid of it you're going to be uh kind of disappointed in how much money you get back for your knives you're not going to get much back anymore and you know you can i, I saw people selling magna cut sabenzas uh small sabenza 31s for maybe three 50 375 right this is a regular 425 i believe i the plain one anyways can't remember i think it's 425 but yeah i mean we're forced if you want to sell something for cash you know everyone's always asking if they want to do trades instead but if you want to sell for cash you're going to have to be willing to price yourself lower than everyone else and that creates so you know like a snowball effect you know every everyone's going lower and lower and lower right and you know that should keep you mindful about not just buying every single thing that pops up and that's what i seriously do now when i when it comes to knives and gear i mean how many knives do you really need i know i have way too much i'm still a knife nut you know i got too many and they're hard to get rid of for cash unless you're willing to sell it for really low, right? And that's how it is now. You know, and if our economy does go into a recession next year, right? It's probably not going to happen anytime soon right now. But, you know, just say it does happen, then <laughs> the knob's going to get hit even harder. Because, you know what, this is really a luxury good. 
you know you don't need a four hundred dollar knife you can get one that's 25 bucks you don't need these um expensive ones these are all luxury products you don't need a full uh this one's 80 dollar titanium uh, snowflake titanium whatever you don't need that you don't need 30 dollar triple a light right you don't need those You know, you you don't need any of those things. You and if you did need one, you this would have you set for life. Just one and maybe a backup. Right? That's all you need. For lights, the lights are actually sometimes more useful depending on what you're doing. You know, if you're out in the dark a lot, lights are more useful. Lights are you can buy lights anywhere. Decent flashlights. And uh yeah. Anyways, guys, what do you think? Do you well, do you like the pry bar? You have one yourself. What do you? Which one do you have? And also, do you, how do you guys feel about you know the secondary market? Do you feel like everything is getting lesser and lesser in value right now? You know, and how do you feel about making new purchases? You know, in cash, in credit, or you know, trying to do trades instead so you don't have to put any new money into this ridiculous hobby. Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, if you like this topic, if you like this video, if you like me, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram, TimZUSA. You give me a thumbs up on this video. It will help me out a lot, right? And until next time, Tim Z out.